Welcome to the June Jones Show. The Warriors are BCS bound. They'll face Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. A victory over Washington on Saturday night set up the biggest game and the biggest payday in school history. It wasn't easy. The Huskies thorned out to a 21-0 lead, so the Warriors had to dig deep, relying on the unity and strength they forged all year long. A last-minute come-from-behind win sealed their undefeated regular season. Now their cry for respect will be heard around the country as UH travels to New Orleans. But this isn't the end of the road. The most storied team in UH's record books is now on its way to shake things up and prove it belongs in the Bowl Championship Series. Here's a look at what's on tap tonight, brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. Moments after JJ and the Warriors got the news, I sat down to talk to him about the Sugar Bowl berth against the Georgia Bulldogs. We'll relive Saturday's dramatic come from behind win that catapulted Hawaii up the poles and into a whole new realm, the realm of football's elite. And we'll go under the helmet with Warriors coach Rich Miano, whose experience and grit has captured his players' respect. But first, everything they fought for, bled for, and dreamed of has finally come to fruition. And a packed house at the Stan Sheriff Center watched with the Warriors as their BCS hopes became a reality on national TV. That's tonight's opening drive. Team 10, 5, touchdown! The Warriors stood and roared with the crowd as their fate unfolded right before their eyes. And as the Hawaii faithful continued to cheer, their heroes responded. But after walking out of the arena and bidding farewell to their fans, it all started to sink in the magnitude of what just happened. And just knowing that you know we've done, we're making history right now. Just knowing that what we've done, nobody can take away from, from us. And the best part about it, we worked so hard for it, and we did as one. For some, more than others. I mean, as you can see, I can't stop smiling. Like I don't know, it's so awesome. I probably won't pitch myself because I know I don't know. I'm just I'm floating right now. And to think this almost did not happen. It was just 11 months ago that Colt made a tough decision to pass on the NFL. But just look at them now. When I first got here, me and Colt talked about, um, you know, building something for this program, you know, trying to make this program into one of the elite in the country. And um, just for us to be living living through what we expected and what we wanted, you know, it's just unbelievable. It's, it's wild and it's, you know, beyond our wildest dreams. I never heard of Hawaii football before I came out here, really. I mean, I watched a little bit here and there. But but the recognition that, you know, that's come to this program because of June Jones, because of Colt, because of the defense, Coach Mack, and, you know, the Lord has truly blessed us with, uh, with this opportunity. Even at 12-0, the Warriors will be underdogs for the first time this year. A large part of that, strength of schedule. A schedule athletic director Herman Fraser came under fire for well before the season began. Well, all those people said bad things about me, they can take it back now. <laughs> and I won't feel bad at all. Sometimes you just have to believe and go with what you know. And in this particular instance, as long as we played 12 games now, 13 games didn't mean anything. At the end of the day, it didn't mean not one thing. Uh, but we played 12 games, and all the one double A and all the other talk, it now goes away. But, you know, we're, we're not sitting here gloating on it. Uh, we were just fortunate, and it worked out, and we won, and other people lost, and now we're in the BCS. The Warriors admit Georgia will be the toughest team they've faced by far in 2007. But they say they'll be ready. There's no doubt about that. I mean, we're, we're happy to be in this bowl game, but we're, we're showing up to win this football game. And uh, being indoors and being in this national stage, I mean, why not rise to the occasion? And uh, if Georgia overlooks us, man, that, that'll be better for us if we're coming to win. Like I say every week, you know, this next one is going to be the biggest game of our career. So once again, um, you know, it's a big one. Um, you know, we're going to celebrate for a minute, you know, um, come back ready later on this week. Come back ready to go. Thanks, Steve. So here's the 74th Sugar Bowl matchup brought to you by the University of Hawaii Federal Credit Union. Hawaii and number five Georgia on New Year's Day at the Superdome. Kickoff is at 3.30 Hawaii time. Six days later, the national championship game will be held in the same building. Top-ranked Ohio State taking on LSU. Here's a look at the other BCS matchups. USC will play Illinois in the Rose Bowl. Oklahoma will take on West Virginia in the Fiesta. And Virginia Tech and Kansas will play in the Orange Bowl.